Bruce Spector, a proud papa, so to speak. Followed out by QG Marshall. Marshall successful in politicking his way into this matchup, Bondi. This is supposed to be a singles match between TC Reed and Jackal Stevens for the Southeastern Belt. But Marshall lobbying the CCW Championship Committee and somehow convincing that he deserves to be a part of it. Marshall soaking in the boost. I promise you, Bondi, he couldn't care less what these fans think of him here at Hialeah. T.C. Reed, one of the most popular wrestlers here in CCW. He and Jackal Stevens have had quite the rivalry as of late. They've been partners. They've been across the ring for one another. Spectre absolutely losing his mind in the ring. Jackal Stevens with a Jackal Jig. One of my favorite entrances here at Coastal Championship Wrestling. The fans absolutely love Jackal Stevens. Here in Hialeah, he looks in outstanding condition. But again, Fonzie, a triple threat match is a champion's worst nightmare. He does not have to be part of the end of the match in order to lose that belt. And of course, triple threat rules, no disqualifications, no count outs. One fall to a finish. Referee Bruce Owens on the call.
Michael Stevens giving that belt a big long smooch. Marshall, of course, the most experienced man in the ring. Bell has sounded. We certainly know who the crowd favorites are. Marshall having something to say to his opponents. Well, both men take an exception going after Marshall. Marshall missing a clothesline at the receiving end of a double chop and down he goes. Hard into the buckle goes QT Marshall. Jackal Stevens now with a flying form into the corner. And a big chop by TC Reed. Down on the knee of Jackal Stevens. And QT Marshall's on rubber legs. Clothesline over the top rope he goes, but he lands on his feet like a cat. Marshall complaining about the temperature of the water. Meanwhile, back in the ring, T.C. Reed. Jackal Stevens with a big shoulder tackle. Nice arm drag by Reed. Well, Marshall certainly an intelligent wrestler. He's gonna let these two go at it. No count outs, no disqualification, and a triple threat. Marshall biding his time. Meanwhile, the Florida man on Jackal. Well, he picked a bad time to get in the ring. Small package, two. Sweep of the leg. Not gonna get the Jackal that way. Reed now going for that rolling reverse cradle. Stevens held on. Now Marshall finds his opening. Ooh. The champ hard into those stairs, tumbling over him into the guardrail. Oh, baseball slide, look out. TC Reed catching Marshall in the rib cage. And now back in the ring he goes. Florida man now. Look out for Lou Spector. Spector holding onto the leg. Leapfrog over Marshall. TC Reed now on the receiving end of a clothesline. He certainly is. He's got at least 20 years, wow, did you hear that? He's got at least 20 years under his belt, and he just clocked T.C. Reed right in the jaw. Reed checking to make sure he's got all of his teeth. Back elbow, catches Reed, Reed goes down, goes to the cover. Barely gets a two count. 
Marshall catches Stevens as he tries to get back into the ring. Right hand to the midsection and a chop to the chest. Reversal by, up. Oh. Are you kidding me? How about that? QG Marshall shocking everybody here, certainly shocking me. A beautiful front handspring into the ropes and a back elbow. But he turned his back on Jackal Stevens and that was a mistake. Stevens all over Marshall. Nice reversal though, hard into the buckle. Stevens comes firing out with a clothesline and turns Marshall inside out, goes to the cover. Two. Reversal again. Jacko, the spinning leg kick. Caught him. One, two. Jackal is thrown out. Marshall not aware that Reed is back in the fray. Cross body. And a double chop. Down goes Marshall again. Big back body drop. High elevation that time. TC Reed is feeling victory. It is in his grasp. Boot to the midsection, go for that gut wrench. Nice and executed gut wrench suplex. One, two. Not enough to put out Marshall. Marshall now with leverage on the second rope. Hammering away. Look out, electric chair. No, Reed able to wriggle free. Buckle bomb. Nice overhead belly to belly throw by Jackal Stevens. Exploder suplex went into the corner, bro. Steven's gonna land on the back of his head, I'm not sure. It sure is. Marshall out on the floor again. Moose Becker in his ear. TC Reed and Jackal Stevens both down. The crowd really showing their appreciation here. Stevens and Reed back to their feet. They're trading knife edge chops now. Stevens with the waist lock now. Samoan drop of swords. QT Marshall saw an opening. One. Got a two count. Marshall got rid of Stevens, thought he had the victory. Two. 
Stevens waiting on TC Reed to regain his feet. Reed now with Stevens. Almost a Mishinuku driver, but he lost him. Enough for a two count though. Again, Marshall on the outside of the ring. The wise veteran that he is, Fonzie. Breaker across the knee. One, two. Jackal Stevens, the champion, on his feet. Marshall on the outside. TC Reed prone. Stevens up to the top. Up Marshall. Again, season opening. Beautiful sit out, power around that could do it. Two. Somehow, TC Reed able to power out of that. Marshall not happy. Wait a minute. Lou Spector handing Marshall a steel chair. There's no DQ, you're absolutely right, Fonzie. Marshall with that chair in his hands. Oh, good night. TC Reed, wait a minute, there comes Jack on the top of the net blockbuster. Two and three, wow. Triple threat match, Fonzie, was everything we expected it to be. Jackal Stevens hanging on to that title with a perfectly executed blockbuster on TC Reed. Unbelievable co-main event.